Hey everyone, it's Lori, and I am here to do your uplifting reading all about you. I hope you guys are happy, healthy, and having some fun. I'm going to use the Light Seer, S-E-E-R, tarot deck today to do your reading. And we'll see who it is we are focusing on today. All right. What is something that's truly magical about you? The Seven of Wands. You know your boundaries. You know who you are. You're confident, capable, loyal, and stalwart. I don't know what that, why that was brought in, but um, I am hearing that you could be a leader of a spiritual group. People follow you because of your ability to lead by example. Beautiful energy here. You are protected. Okay, you have physical protection around you here on earth, um, but you also have angelic, spiritual, source, energy that is protecting you. You are connected spiritually. Beautiful energy here. Beautiful. Let's see what you've accomplished that you should be proud of. The Seven of Swords. You had to fight um, and plan and strategize on how to get to this point. I'm hearing you had to um, I'm hearing cut through the chase, learn how to eliminate the drama, eliminate conversations with more than the person that it matters with. So strategy, planning, um, Avoiding negative situations. I'm hearing that you had to overcome a, a very traumatic, um, gossipy situation. So something happened in your in your life that was public. People knew about it, um, and people talked about it. That was the hard part. Okay, to realize that. <laughs> These people who are calling, making all this racket, talking about you, they don't matter. What they say, let them say what they're going to say. And you came to that realization, okay, that the only opinion that matters to you is your opinion and your higher power's opinion. Now, that doesn't mean you're out there living a terrible life. No, just the opposite. You have found a way to have a beautiful, abundant, joyful life, leading by example here, connected to your higher power. You do not let, ah ha that's exactly what it is saying here, that you do not let gossip or other people's opinions burst your bubble. Nope, you're protected. You have peace. You have solitude because you know who you are. You have your boundaries, your ethics, your morals. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Here comes Miss Sagey Poo. Come on in. Say hello to everyone. There she is, the star of the show. Hello, Sage. Tell everyone you still have not had your babies yet, huh? Got babies in there, huh? Yeah. All right. We'll give you a little love, but then Mommy's got to go back to the reading, okay? We've got a little uh, purring here going on. She's using this camera to scratch her cheeks. Her favorite thing in the world is to have me scratch her cheeks and her chin. Oh, she just drops. Look at this. <laughs> You're such a good girl. Yes, you are. Say hi to everyone and then let me scratch this cheek and then you got to go. You got to go do your thing. You got to go do your kitty thing, okay? So mommy can do her adult thing her human thing. Okay? All right, come on. I know, you're like, why would I live? leave? I'm getting kitty pets. I'm getting chin scratches. Whoops, no kitty butt. Come on. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. All right. So you've got those boundaries, those ethics, those morals. You know exactly who you are, and you don't care what other people's opinion is because you know that you're a good person. All right. It doesn't matter what happened in the past. And we all have to learn this lesson at some point. What's going on there, Miss Sage? You smell something in the air, huh? Oh, you're looking out the window. What's going on out there? Nothing? Come sit over here then. 
not right in the middle of the camera. And anybody who doesn't like the cat being here, there's other channels to watch. This is family, okay? And if my cat, pregnant cat needs time, she's going to get the time, okay? Because we love here. We don't hate on anything. No, we don't. All right, come on, baby. Come on. You got to let mommy finish the work. Nope. <laughs> All right, come on. Can you let mommy finish her work? Good girl. Thank you. Whoops. She's using her tail and taking the camera. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, whoa, no scratchies. No. No, no, no. Have to put a collar on her, flea collar, which does nothing, unfortunately, because you can't put the flea medicine on her body while she's pregnant. All right. So, you overcame and accomplished being able to be confident in yourself no matter what is happening around you, okay? You don't care what other people's opinions are. What they think is not your concern. They can have whatever opinion they want because they don't pay your bills. They don't butter your bread. They don't keep your relationships going. They don't pay your paycheck. You know what I mean? So you know who you are and you know that you are the one in control of your life. I don't know what she's thinking. I don't know what you're thinking. All right. Come on. Come on, baby. All right, so the impact that you have on the people around you, she just wants her head scratched, is clarity, truth, honesty. People see you for exactly who you are now, and you don't cower in a corner. You have confidence, okay, and you're showing other people through example by being a good role model. <laughs> she wanted to give you credit there. By being a good role model. You don't have to tell anybody anything. You don't have to clarify anything. You lead by example. You show people how to be honest and true and authentic to themselves. Kitty hairs. Really good impact to have on the people around you. You bring clarity. You bring truth. You bring honesty. Stability. Knowledge. Oh, Sage. Um, hello? Hello? Can we, like, continue this reading, please? She came to see the other cat, the gold cat. She's wondering why it's gold and she's black. But she's a tuxedo cat, so they go well together. Yeah. All right. So you bring knowledge. You bring information. You bring clarity and understanding. So you have a really good impact on the people around you. Honesty, truth, understanding. Oh, sagey poo. All right. What talent or skill do you have that we should know about? The ability to stick with something until you see it through, okay? You also have a beautiful ability to gain a new perspective when you open your mind, okay? Which you do. You, you are not closed-minded at all. In fact, you're very open-minded. And this helps you to gain clarity on how to deal with people, okay? And how to let things go. You, it's This is beautiful energy here. There is no sacrificing. This is you. All, this is you all the way looking at things from different perspectives and having fun while you're doing it. You're being flexible here. You're reaching out to water and to the universe and to source to gain the information that you need here. Okay, so you're opening yourself up. I love this. Just by changing your position. Just by changing how you look at something. So if you're laying down, you decide you're going to get up and go for a walk. If you are meditating and that's not working for you, you're going to get up and go do the dishes. You just change your, your position, okay, first of all, because that causes blood to flow into a different area. And that can bring beautiful information to you. It is your ability to be open-minded and flexible and reaching out to others, to the universe, looking within yourself too, okay, for the knowledge that you already have about every circumstance, every situation. And you just have a clarity, an understanding, a connection that just brings you the information that you need. Beautiful. 
Love that. What do you do right now that you should never, ever stop doing? The Nine of Cups. Knowing and understanding that all of your dreams are coming true, that your wishes are fulfilled by your actions, by your outlook on life, how you treat yourself. Oh, she's back in my little cubby hole on my desk. There is no room in there either. That's where I keep my binders. <laughs> There's like this much room in there. Okay. So happiness, joy, bliss, wishes fulfilled, dreams coming true, being grateful for everything that you have. And you are grateful. I mean, you know that the very next thing is the Ten of Cups. There's nothing else that you can't have. You are on your way to receiving everything. Beautiful bounty, happiness, abundance, joy dreams coming true you and this is you this is all about you how you look at the world how you view things notice there's an individual in every single one of these cards every single one and this attitude that you have here this belief that you, if you set your intentions and set it free that you will have everything and it, it's absolutely true because you now have the six of swords okay that talks about moving and sailing into calmer waters, fresh starts, moving away from chaos, moving away. Look, and we have the crows. We have the crows on both. The gossip, the drama. You, you've moved past it. You have found peace. You have found joy. You have a clarity. You have an understanding of how the universe works. And you open yourself up to all possibilities absolutely love this reading for you and that takes you from chaos to peace absolutely love this absolutely love this reading if this resonates with you if this is your message if this is you go ahead boop tickle tap that like button show yourself some support if this isn't you today and you'd like to show some uh support for whoever this is go ahead tickle tap or boop that like button Beautiful message here. Yeah, drop a comment if it's you. Explain how you feel, what's going on, how you came to be this peaceful person. Did you take up a practice that helped you to gain this, um, to move past this in the past? Or what happened, you know? Give, don't go into a lot of detail, but you can tell us, you know, yep, I went through a lot of gossip over a situation that happened in my life. And I sought out yoga to get through this. Or I sought out inner peace through um, kundalini. Or, you know, tell us, what did you do? Maybe it's different from what most people know and understand. And that could be helpful to other people. So please share. Spirit Animal Oracle message today. 63, nothing is wasted. And 10, Buffalo Spirit, the abundant universe will provide. And they say nothing is wasted in this card too. So there is something about every experience we have is beneficial to us in some way or form. Okay. And then we have Coyote Spirit, Trust and Divine Detours, card 16. And then we have card 20, Dolphin Spirit, this and that are true. All right, let's take a look at what we've got going on here. Oh, I just looked up at the clock and it was 1333. 1333. That's the timer on my clock, okay, or on my cell phone. It's not the time, it's the timer. Okay, so let's see what we have with, we have one, two, three, nine, and seven. One, two, three, nine, and seven, or two, one, seven, nine. Two, one, seven, nine. That number sounds familiar to me. If that means something to you, if two, one, seven, nine, and look, we have seven, seven, seven. And we have double nines, nine of cups and nine on here. And if you take the one and add it to the six, another seven. Incredible. Sevens and nines, ones. Moving in a, the right direction. Wow. 
That is incredible. Okay, let's start right with Buffalo Spirit and see what Spirit wants to say through this animal oracle message. Okay, it says, when Buffalo Spirit visits you with a message of protection, he is asking you to shift your thinking from poverty consciousness to one where you trust the universe will provide everything that you need. Have you been falling into financial insecurity, worrying that there will not be enough money in the future? Have you been stressing and feeling sorry for yourself, worrying that because you have no romantic relationship right now, that you never will have one? Do you see scarcity or lack where there is, in fact, abundance? It's there for you. Are you comparing yourself to others and feeling like you fall short? Self-pity, entitlement, fear, and attitudes of lack are all thought viruses. They seduce you into darkness. They keep you stuck in negative energy. <coughs> Excuse me. Buffalo Spirit is here to nudge you to make a gratitude list and to be mindful of your thoughts at this time. This is what you need to do. This is what people who this resonates with that this is you you do this for those of you striving to get here that's what you need to do even if our outer uh, uh, events have happened to challenge your beliefs and abundance outer conditions are only temporary if you are suffering from the malaise of fear that you <coughs> are broke Understand that it is only poverty of perception that you suffer from. Prayer, communion with your higher power, and gratitude coupled with compassionate, selfless service will snap you right out of that. Give something to someone who has less than you. It does not mean money. It, it can be anything. Give a smile. Give a hand. Help somebody. Lift something. Do something nice for somebody else. Okay? Okay? Be thankful for the tiniest things and say your affirmations. Then you will remember that abundance is the true nature of the universe. Okay? Don't forget that. Please don't forget that. Let's see what 63 has to say over here. And we all need reminding of that sometimes. Okay? All right. Do you wish you could run away from your past or deny your mistakes? Not so fast, says Vulture Spirit. You have gained something valuable from the experience. Let your grief or anger move you through move through you. Experience it, feel it, acknowledge it. And soon your emotions will transform. For you will come to see that you have learned and you have grown from that situation. Hanging on to it for too long, though, does not work. You must release it eventually. The alchemy or the magic of transformation is a gift from spirit. So never disown what embarrassed, disappointed, or shamed you. It will soon be a source of great wisdom and strength as you work with a magic that allows miracles to be created out of sadness and beauty to arise from ugliness. This is exactly what this story was about today moving past what other people's opinions are. If you felt embarrassed, ashamed, guilty, whatever, you found a way to move past that and not worry about those energies, okay? It, I'm going to reread this to you. The magic of transformation is a gift from spirit. So never, ever disown what embarrassed, disappointed, or shamed you. It will soon be a source of great wisdom and strength as you work with a magic that allows miracles to be created out of sadness and beauty to arise from ugliness. Vulture Spirit wants you to know that you embody beauty and the magic transformation of the past is already happening. Hang in there. You are loved and so much beauty is waiting to come out of all of this, okay? 
You may feel like this right now, but you're going to end up feeling like this if you just persevere and don't let people acknowledge. If you did something, which you probably did something, we all do something that was silly, ridiculous, maybe mean. You know, we all are human. We do things we regret. Okay, don't wallow in that regret. And don't let people's gossip bother you. They'll get past it. They will move on. Believe me, you are not as important. Your mistakes are not as important to them as when they make their own. Okay? And everybody's got their own mistakes that they're making. So just don't worry about what people think. Beautiful message there. Now we're going to move on to Dolphin Spirit. If I can get to the right place here. <clears throat> okay, Dolphin Spirit says, when you most want to be acknowledged as right and see other ways as wrong, Dolphin Spirit appears as a reminder that the story of your suffering and righteousness is a little more complicated than you are admitting at this time. Do you want to see things in black and white and be rigid in your ideas of what's correct and what is not? This is what causes us to feel that other people's opinions matter. Because we think, oh man, I did that. That was so wrong. Okay. All right. Do you want to see things in black and white and be rigid in your ideas of what's correct and what is not? Release that rigidity and embrace the fluidity of life as you recognize the grays, that in-between place that remind you that there are two sides to every story, an upside to each downside, and a blessing in every challenge. You've, you've figured this out. What you think is wrong may end up being right for you. So let Dolphin Spirit soften your heart so that you can make the best decisions at each moment, playing with the, possibility, with the possibilities that present themselves, okay? Just... Take away the lesson and let the opinions go. Does not matter. 16. Coyote Spirit. Sometimes a goal is so enticing and so alluring that you lose your footing in the pursuit. Okay. You begin to fixate on capturing this prize, whether it be an opportunity you have always wanted a relationship with that elusive someone, or the promise of that big break. Coyote Spirit warns you, though, that this trickster energy seducing you right now will yield nothing but disappointment and unnecessary heartache if you let yourself be fooled. So keep your boundaries up. No, okay? Don't go after things that are not pursuing you. Great Spirit wants the very best for you. So when your plans go topsy-turvy, understand that Coyote Spirit is present to protect and bless you. Okay? Listen to the gentle warning to not take the world too seriously. Don't worry about what people think. Or become too attached to the form and timing of your desires. In other words, release. If, if it's not coming to you, it's not meant for you. Something better is coming for you. If you learn your lessons and lighten your heart, it will not be long before you see that the crooked as the path may have been, you were on the right path all along. Okay, so you were headed in the right direction. You stumbled. You let people's opinion bother you for a little while. Somehow you overcame that. Okay, and now you have these boundaries, this sense of peace, and you have this clarity, understanding, an ability to be open-minded. And when you see other people falling down, you don't laugh at them. You don't make fun of them. You don't gossip about them. You sit there and say, oh boy, that's a difficult place to be. Is there something maybe I can do to ease their pain? Maybe I can share my story where I was at. Okay, and say, you know, it happens. Here's how we get to abundance, happiness, joy, and understanding that we have everything we need. And that takes us into this beautiful, peaceful, new, less drama-filled atmosphere. Okay, beautiful messages there. Beautiful. Absolutely love those. Spirit wants to go ahead and give you a an eternal crystals oracle message. 
We shall see what's going to come out now. We had, uh, I believe it was Peridot and Diaptase in the uh, daily, which was kind of, uh, oh, I didn't even title that. It was a good reading. I will tell you that. Well, we have Lapis Lazuli showed up. 24, which is a six. <clears throat> and it says, problems resolved. <laughs> I love that. And then we have Seraphonite, Honesty, card 38, heart and third eye chakra. Seraphonite, and that's 11, and this is six. This is third eye and throat chakra, and this is heart and third eye chakra. All right, some interesting information here. Let's see what Lapis Lazuli is saying for you guys. 24. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lapis Lazuli says, if you have been feeling stuck, stagnant, or as though life is bringing you one problem after another, Lapis Lazuli is here to help you. Drawing this card indicates that things around you are about to transform. We just said that, okay? There is a positive energy coming to you that will help you to let you let go of anything in your past or your present moment that might be holding you back. As you think less on matters in your past, you will begin to feel this surge of new transformative energy. It is time now for you to focus upon your strengths, not your weaknesses. Don't let these things bother you. You have an incredible inner power that you can get through any hard, difficult times. You can. You can be abundant and happy in the darkest of moments. Remember always that you are not alone, that your spirit guides angels and passed on loved ones are also with you, helping you. Try to stay positive and focused on your goals. Keep charging ahead with your hopes and your dreams. Try not to get too distracted by other people's energies, opinions, or problems. Lapis lazuli is associated with your th throat chakra. It, its energy helps you to communicate clearly. It is also associated with your third eye chakra, which helps you with your intuition and to see things more clearly. Beautiful message there. Sage, come on out of there. Out, out, please. She's in that closet again, and i got to put a, a door or something across that. Uh, otherwise, she'll end up having her babies in there, and I won't be able to get help her out. You know, we all have that one area that's just a mess, right? Well, that's mine. All right, so Seraphonite, honesty. It may be time for you to be honest with yourself. Take time to identify the changes that you might need to make in your life so that you can feel happy. Focus on healing yourself today by being completely honest with yourself. What do you need to do to feel happy or healthy? Once you have been honest with yourself and you have identified what it is that you need to do and what you do and do not want in your life, then and only then can you make the changes that you need to make. During this process of change, listen to your heart and your higher power. Stay true to who you are. Don't worry about what other people think about you, okay? Be wary. Don't listen to other people's agendas or other people's um, opinion of you at this time. Be sure, be sure to surround your people that you with people. Surround yourself with people that you can trust because some people come from a place of ego or self-service. Too many viewpoints can cloud your judgment. Be true to you. Listen to you. Understand your heart. Know what your boundaries are. Don't worry about all this other stuff. You can also ask your angels and spirit guides for help. They will send you the answers that you're seeking. Pay attention to any signs or messages that they do send you. Trust in what you see, sense, hear, and feel. Seraphonite is a beautiful healing crystal which aids in angelic communication. Okay, talking about your intuition here. It is associated with your heart and your third eye chakra. Beautiful messages there. Beautiful messages. All right. Spirit wants to give you an astrology message here. And then we're going to do the three yes or no answers. 
And we will wrap this reading up for today. Don't forget, get out there and have some fun in life. Enjoy life, okay? Find some peace. Find some joy. Find some abundance. Even when you think you have absolutely nothing, no money, no happiness, no joy, you have to create it, okay? Look at things from a different perspective. Go hang out someplace you've never been. Someplace free, a park, even if it's cold outside. If you don't usually go out where it's cold, boy, you'll get a whole different perspective on reality at that point. I just did that. It's been cold here where I'm at. I'm in Florida, okay? And when I say it's been cold, I'm talking 40s. And that's cold, okay? Um, I'm from upstate New York. So no, in comparison to New York, no, it's not cold. But here, 45 is cold in South Florida. So by getting myself, instead of staying inside my house, all huddled up and, you know, comfortable and everything else, I said, you know what? I need a different perspective on things. I bundled myself up. I went outside and boy, that crisp, cool air really woke me up, really got my blood flowing. And I came up with so many fantastic ideas. I also became more grateful for everything that I had. I thought I was, you know, grateful on a regular basis. Boy, I came in the house and I, I started writing down all these other things that I had forgotten that I was grateful to have. Okay. So changing your perspective, how you see things, how you deal with things, just change. If you sit on the couch, if you're sitting on the couch being negative, get up and do something. Go clean your room. Go read a book. Go reorganize your books. Something. Don't know why that was so important to share, but obviously Spirit wanted it out there for somebody. All right, let's go ahead and see what we've got in the astrology messages here. Fire, confidence, optimism, passion, and bravery. Yes, that's definitely where Spirit would like you to focus your energies at this time. Have the courage to get up and do something, okay? I'm also on the bottom of the deck. we got water, spirituality, emotions, intuition, and compassion. All fit completely with this reading. I'm going to go ahead and put that one over here. I don't know if you can see. Oh, I guess you can see that. All right, let's get you three yes or no answers here. If you have one question that you would like to ask and it's a yes or no, then just only take one answer. If you don't want to participate, feel free to go ahead and click off now. That's fine. Okay, we all have free will and we get to, to participate. But I do want to say one thing. Somebody says, I'm not going to let the, the roll of a die decide something for me. But you're sitting here watching tarot. So keep in mind the irony in that statement. Okay? All right, so on the die, any number, 1 through 5, is a no. If it's 6 through 12, it's a yes, and look who's back. Well, she's got an itchy face. All right, Sage. So answer number one. Oh, I just found a flea. Ah, and they're so hard to kill. And I don't want fleas. Look at that. That son of a gun is still alive. St yeah, Sage. How are we going to get rid of these fleas? Would you please have these babies so we can go back to putting that medicine on you? This is, ugh, I don't want the fleas, honey. You all saw that. You all saw it. It's life. We deal with it. All right. I'm rolling left-handed for those of you who are creative. The first answer is no, and that is 10 with an 8 and a 2. That is, boy, you got some burdens that you're carrying. Answer number two is a no. And Sage is sniffing that out. Look at her sniff that out. She's like, no, no. She tried to bite it. Answer number three is a two, a no. And again, she's like, no, nope, nope. All right. There's your three yes or no answers. Hi, Sagey Poo. What do you need, honey? Do you need some food? I wish you could see her face right now. She is so content to have her face scratched, her cheeks. All right, guys, until our energies cross again, I wish you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.